Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. We are on week six of the vlogs where I talk about everything I wore this week, anytime I went to the store, what I tried out at the store, some random thoughts, some hot takes on fragrances. So this is vlog number six. Be sure to check out the previous five. And yeah, let's just get into it. It's Monday. I'm running some errands today. I decided to wear Aqua de Joe Absolute. Find that to be my favorite geo because it's the only one that doesn't smell like geo. Anyways, if it's perfect, it's a beautiful, breezy, 70 degree-ish day um, in gorgeous Los Angeles. What's up guys? My fragrance of the night tonight was Bad Boys by Killian. I was teaching class. I'm inside the studio right now. But Bad Boys by Killian, Bad Boys Are No Good But Good Boys Are No Fun was my fragrance of the night for this Monday night. I smell like a fizzy Coca-Cola with lime. Uh, is Born to be Unforgettable is like a sequel to Bad Boys Are No Good But Good Boys Are No Fun by Killian. It's Tuesday in Los Angeles. I just got done with an interview for this project I've been working on. And I'm wearing Hello Blue Parfum. I want to just wear something clean and offensive. Perfect for office work, meetings, et cetera, et cetera. Had a worn in a while, so I grabbed Polo Blue Parfum, and I'm smelling nice, and I'm about to head to a big mall to check see what's out there. So hopefully there's some good stuff there. I'm at Bloomingdale's, and they do not have Perseus yet, but they have a fun giant bottle of Altair. Testing out some of the new private collection from Dior. New Look was one of the new releases. I'm definitely going to spray that on in a little bit, but they have the entire set here at the store. So I just tried a new look by Dior. It's the newest release from their private collection. Uh, Mason Francis Kirkjohn's first one, I believe, of his, his fragrances. It smells spicy cleans. It's only got three notes listed. Aldehydes, frankincense, and amber. Um, not my style of scent, but it smells like a luxury, like, I don't want to say luxurious soap, but like, that's gonna, it smells like luxury clean. Um, don't think it's worth the money to spend that much money on this kind of scent, but it does smell nice. Um, but it's just, I personally wouldn't rock it very often, but I am wearing it, testing it out. So I'm at Nordstrom's and the sales clerk introduced me to Future Society Optimal Habitat. It's a primer that you spray it on and then you rub it on like lotion. And so I am trying this guy out. And just because it's the only thing next to me, I'm gonna spray Eau de Merveille on top of it and see how it lasts. Uh, she told me that when she did it, it made her fragrance last like 24 plus hours on her arm. So we'll see if this primer actually works with Eau de Merveille, because if you guys haven't tried Eau de Merveille, this is a good six, six hours. Um, we'll see how it does for me. Checking out the Nordstrom Exclusives Future Society fragrances. I just tested out this primer, but yeah, I tried Solar Canopy so far, that was nice, but I'm gonna try a couple of the others leaving Nordstrom's right now. I ended up spraying on Floating Forest and we'll see how that one works. So I currently have on New Look, Floating Forest and a surprise one, which I'll talk about in just a second. I'll make that a separate, no, forget it. I won't make it separately. I also tried Perseus. So I have Perseus, I'm wearing it. Have it on the car too. It's a refreshing grapefruit vetiver fragrance. If you smelled Eau Givre, Think of Perseus as a lighter, slightly fresher version. Um, that's the best way to describe it off of initial impression is that you like Eau Givre, picture a slightly fresher, lighter version of that scent profile. Um, they call it Twisted Grapefruits um, and Vetiver. So that's basically the two things you're gonna pick up from it. So my initial impression is nice. Let's see. Oh. Of Perseus, um, it's not an instant love, but it's not a I'm not sure if I would buy it or yet not, but we'll continue testing it out, see how it works throughout the rest of the day. But it is pleasant on the first initial spray. So Perseus is a nice release so far from Perfumes to Marley. It's Tuesday night, I'm at the movie theater. So uh, Perseus by Perfumes to Marley s reminds me of Eau Givre and then the dry down of Elysium by Rush Perfumes. I do think it is a nice smelling fragrance. It's a light grapefruit sitting on a fresh vetiver. The twisted grapefruit in our accord makes it a nice smelling. However, I think both of those other two fragrances are gonna be better buys for most people. If you're wearing it, I think you'd smell great, but you can get Eau Givre for like 100 bucks or less, and you can get Elysium for 170, 160 online. 
So those are great buys, but Perseus does smell really, really good, and I look forward to trying it more. Okay, morning, just sleep in the gym. I wore Voltari Man Extreme to the gym. It's an Alberto Maria's fragrance. It uses a cactus note, similar to Tommy. They don't smell the same, but yeah, if you like a unique, fresh scent, Voltari Man Extreme is an excellent pickup. I just got finished teaching a class. It's Wednesday night. It's pouring rain out. It's cold, and I decided to wear to me 19 degrees as I teach. It smells really, really good. It's my favorite release last year. You guys all know that by now, but yeah, good stuff. We're Costco guys. Of course we're wearing Pacific Rock Moss to go to the store. It's Thursday. I'm wearing Pacific Rock Moss. I have to do some errands. I'm running through Costco right now. Um, let me set, check to see if they actually have fragrances in this Costco, but they usually don't. They're usually just online. But yeah, uh, enjoy the day guys. It's a Thursday mall trip. I'm going to Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's, Macy's, and Sephora. There's a bunch of new things I'm going to try out and test. Um, hopefully I can get a sample of Perseus, but we'll see. I have tried it, as you guys saw in my earlier video, but uh, hopefully I can get a full-fledged sample of it. Trying out the new Eternity Aromatic Essence. This fragrance is soft, is warm. It's definitely designed for more of that cozy date night style of fragrance. And it does use coconut. As you guys know, I don't really enjoy coconut fragrances. It's not heavy on the coconut, so it, it, but it is there lingering in the background a little bit. But yeah, if you're looking for a new like cozy date night fragrance, check this one out. This might be breaking news, but I'm at Macy's right now and the Mont Blanc rep just told me that Mont Blanc Explorer Intense or Parfum, he wasn't quite sure, he didn't remember the name, is coming out this year. So that's gonna be the new Explorer. Um, he said is a gonna be a darker, like almost like the Elixir style concentration of it, but it's supposed to be Explorer Intense, I believe, is what he was pretty sure the name was, but he says it's gonna be a parfum concentration of Explorer told me that the bottle is supposed to be tricked out black, um, dark all the way through. So yeah, that, that should be cool. I'm actually kind of excited to try that. Guys, yeah, look how depressing my Sephora is. Just got to try the new replica from the garden. This one is, let's see, green mandarin essence, tomato leaf liqueur, geranium, and patchouli. Um, it's actually really fresh and invigorating. Uh, I don't really get a crazy ton of tomato, but it does kind of feel like you are walking through the garden. The geranium really, really stands out. I kind of like this one. I will spray it on um, and test it out through the day, but from the garden, fun new release from the Replica Collection by Mason Martin Margiela. Yeah, make sure you guys check it out. I'm at Sephora right now and that's where it's at, so. Trying the new Perseus again. I have it on my hand and I have Oja Bray on my wrist. We're gonna see how they do together, but yeah. Uh, Perseus, the newest from Parfum Sumarly, uses grapefruit and vetiver. Those are the highlights of this one. Now I'm walking to Chanel, see if there's any update on the new men's Chanel fragrance. Here's the Chanel store. There, so you can actually see it. Boom. All right, so we have Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. This is the newest of the Chance bottles. This one's actually pretty unisex. So gentlemen, try this one out if you're looking for a new Chanel. In the Chanel store, no updates on the new um, men's fragrance, they had no updates for us. Uh, they did give me a couple samples of Chance Eau Fraiche. Uh, surprisingly, for a female fragrance, it is pretty unisex. Um, it's unisex leaning slightly feminine, but like not crazy. If you've ever smelled something like Clementine California, like it kind of has that kind of like unisex vibe to it. I just dropped it. But yeah, um, check out Chance Eau Fraiche um, for a summery, spring summer fragrance. Uh, definitely freshness overload. Just got out of the movie theater seeing Kung Fu Panda 4. Uh, enjoyable kids movie. Uh, so let's just go over some of these fragrances that I have on. So Perseus still smells nice, clean grapefruit vetiver. It's mainly just vetiver on the dry down, like a clean, fresh vetiver. Eau Gevray turns into more of just a vetiver scent after the openings. Nice. So from the garden is definitely giving me that like green outdoors it's fresh. The tomato leaf isn't crazy strong on this one. It smells nice. It's definitely gonna be more suited for those that like that that green. Like it's actually like, it feels like you're outdoors. So outdoor spring is gonna be the best time to use that one. And then Chance Eau Fresh is gonna sit along the lines of like light blue intense for her, uh, Clementine California, Eau de Merve, those type of scents where it's like unisex, 
slightly lean feminine. So if you like that kind of vibe, it's gonna be good. Once again, spring, summer, outdoor kind of vibe. Uh, both are nice, fun new fragrances, but other than that, still gonna wear Ogevre and Perseus to see how they do. But my fragrance of the day is still Pacific Rock Moss. Like this was radiating off of my neck right now. So I'm gonna fair. Yeah, fun day at the movies, and I'll just see where the night leads. So let's just talk about bad freaking luck. It was blue skies and sunny when I went into the movie theater, and now it is raining and lightning out. Lord. This sucks. Um, as you know, I ride a Vespa, so I gotta ride home in this. What else, zero? <laughs> this. Yeah, bad, bad luck, guys. It was literally blue skies out when I went into the movie, and the movie was only 90 minutes long. And look at that. So it got out of the rain, and apparently it snowed. Not just rain, but snowed a little bit. That's kind of crazy for Los Angeles. But yeah, still got Perseus on. Just smells like clean vetiver. Eau Gevre, I think, is a slightly better purchase because you can get that for like a hundred bucks. Um, yeah. All I can say about Perseus is it smells nice. There's just better alternatives out there. So if you're wearing it, I think you smell good. But I don't think it's an exciting release. It's just a nice smelling release. Also, fat man again. It is Friday. Today, my scent of the day is my most complimented fragrance, which is Chanel Allure Home Sport Eau Extreme. Now, I may be filming with guests. I wasn't quite sure, so I put it up just in case. But I'm editing tomorrow's video. So as you're watching this on Monday, uh, this week's new video was which Armani code of the three that are currently available. We have Armani code Eau de Toilette, Armani code Eau de Parfum, and Armani code Parfum. So if you haven't watched this week's video, I'll put a picture of it up somewhere on this screen. But yeah, uh, definitely check it out. Boys, Happy what are we wearing? Vaughn number nine, set the piece, baby. <laughs> same thing, exact same thing. I'm wearing a Lorem Sport O Extreme. Luke just soaked himself in it. Good boy, yeah. <laughs> We're smelling like pineapple up in here. It is Saturday, I'm watching the UFC fights with Luke. I'm wearing Armani Code Parfum. Hey Luke, what's your fragrance of the day? My fragrance of the day is Masha 26 by the Lavo. Really cool, clean, fresh fragrance. Happy Sunday, y'all. Um, I'm running some errands. I'm wearing Lamal Eau Fraiche, uh, specifically the Andre edition, but they're all the same. Um, that the fragrance great. If you never got a chance to try it, it's legitimately wow. fantastic. Um, it smells like sexy laundry, like clean laundry and stuff like that. It's really good. I smell great. Um, anyways, uh, going to the grocery store right now. And yeah. So obviously the big thing we tried this week was Perseus by Parfums to Marley. It's a nice smelling fragrance. That's all I can say really about it. This smells nice. I don't find it to be something overly good or overly bad. It's nice. I think you'd smell good wearing it. If you're talking about just Parfums to Marley fresh fragrances, I would have Sedley, Greenlee, Percival, Galloway ahead of it. Um, I do think Eau Givre and Elysium are much better buys if you're looking for those vetiver style fragrances and Elysium is just overall a better fragrance in general. But Eau Givre and Perseus are very similar in certain ways, but Eau Givre you can get for like a hundred bucks and Perseus is gonna be well over that $200 mark and then retail obviously it's expensive retail. So good, not great release by Parfums to Marley. If you get it, great. I'll think you smell good wearing it. So that's about the essential thing with Perseus. Uh, but other than that, I think my favorite fragrance that I wore this week was, uh, what was it? Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with my Sunday fragrance because I'm enjoying wearing it right now. And that is Le Mal Eau Fraiche. Uh, sexy Laundry. That's pretty much what it smells like. It's a very fresh fragrance. It should not have been discontinued by Jean-Paul Gaultier, but as you know, there's a million gazillion different Lamal flankers, but this one is a good one. If you ever happen to see it, definitely worth checking out and picking up. But that does it for vlog number six. Hope you guys have a great week. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have been wearing throughout the week. Bye guys.